Hey everybody, Herbert here. I'm here um, to do a video. Rob Peck has asked some of us to do videos in support of the annual giving campaign, and I am happy to do so. And he sent a great list of, of um, themes and topics that we may want to talk about very quickly. And one of them was my favorite St. Thomas memory, he said be specific. And another was um, brag on someone else and all the amazing work they do for the church. So those are kind of the two that strike me right now. Um, and it's easy for me to talk about those two things just in the context of this morning, the morning I've had today. So I want to tell you a little bit about that or the day I've had today. The first thing was I went by the church. This is Saturday. I went by the church and the, the parish hall was had a bunch of people in it, all appropriately distanced, but all making flower arrangements to be delivered to members of the church. And it was just a very healthy and good and happy event. Um, people were energetic, people were positive, and, and it was so good to see uh, the members of the church working together for this, for the, for, a, for, for fellowship and fun and to just let people know that um, we're thinking about them. And then I left that really cool thing this morning and I went to Jennifer Lazuri's ordination to the priesthood. And you know, Jennifer is now the newest priest in the Episcopal Church. And you know, most of the time when we ordain priests, we ordain a bunch of them. But in this instance, it was just Jennifer. So she gets to hold on to that title for a couple of days. She will be the newest priest in the Episcopal Church until Monday when they ordain somebody else. But I just was thinking about how um, St. Thomas is the... the, the um, the people of St. Thomas has helped her in her ministry, um, adopted her, um, lifted her up, supported her. And even though we couldn't all be there physically for her ordination because of the uh, pandemic, um, we were there in spirit and all of St. Thomas was there in spirit. So just those two things today um, are have, have just raised my spirits and made me think about how fortunate I am to be here, to be your rector, to be part of St. Thomas's and how wonderful I think you members are and, and all my friends at St. Thomas's. So thank you for listening. Um, I hope that you will join me in, in uh, contributing to the church and this year I'll be um, raising my, my pledge and I hope you'll join me in that. And if you can't, that's okay too. I just hope to see you and that you'll be a part of us and continue to be a part of us and and bless you all. It's, it's, it's great to be here. It's great to be a part of St. Thomas's Church.